All right, so I just got this Tecmo Super Bowl cart for my birthday. It was uh, by request. I plan on just getting a flash card anyways, um, but haven't gotten that in yet. And this was the game that I played the most as a kid, so figured uh, I should just have the card of it. Why not, for nostalgia purposes? Uh, I've always been a Jets favorite. I'm gonna like, refresh myself. Oh yeah, it's start to view condition here. Bad. All right, well. Good I did all these checks. Hector, good, excellent. Who's faster? Max speed 50, 50, they're about the same. Oh, no. I guess I'll put Freeman McNeil on the front for now. It's a little better. Bad. Average. Excellent. Deal. Well, this is bizarre. It must be like mid-season on one of these. Um, I have no idea. Oh well, I'll go with it anyways, so. The Jets were my team growing up, so. Go Jets! Let's see what playbook we got here. Um, so some of the best playbooks in this game are, um, the default ones generally are pretty bad without almost any exception. So you almost always want to change them. There's basically two go-to ones. There's either run and shoot based ones, which usually is better for passing teams, or T formation ones, which are more general all around ones. So I'm gonna go for more of the uh, T formation one. It's the fake sweep, and then, yeah, I can go whatever in the middle. Is there anything else? I could go one there, which means I followed up with uh, this one for the play action on it. Yeah. Let's see if I remember exactly which to use for the playbooks here. Okay, so some T formation stuff. Yeah, that's fine. This one usually is some other play. I just cannot think of what that play is right now off the top of my head. Unless that's fine for the play I have. I have two of the same play action. That's not right. Yeah, that's good. And then I'll probably just do one. There's not really a good, there's not many good plays in this slot at all. Like that's fine, that's fine. And then this one really. Like uh, Jets are not a very good passing team in this game. So I'm gonna go for more of a um, running game based one. Oh, you can't even look at <laughs> defensive players position uh, conditions or anything like this. You just have to know which ones are fast. Um, so yeah, let me just go and do a game. Let's do Jets first. Uh, let's just do Jets first Bills. Bills are pretty generically good all around, so it'll be a good matchup. All right, let's see if I can win the coin toss. You can press B to skip it immediately. Like, hey, they won the toss. I'll just skip it. Sometimes it'll give it to a random uh, person at that point. So you'll piss off your friends. And uh, if you're playing this competitively, there are like online leagues. Uh, that is banned. You cannot actually do that. But against AI, it does not really matter. Okay, so it looks like the so the AI is also doing a pretty. This is actually a pretty, not a bad playbook. The Bills won. They just have a shotgun play for the uh, third play. That's the one that I missed, the running play three. It's pretty easy to stop. The running play one is really difficult. Um, I'm just gonna go McMillan. He's the best by far. All right. Oh, nice, got the interception. So slow though, I'll take it. All right, let me make sure that all my plays like actually make sense. I don't, I don't think you can actually change your playbooks in the NES version, though. Oh yeah, getting some good yards. All right, sweet. All right, so that was running play one. Just can go one, two, three, four. Can I beat him? Yeah, of course I can. Just have to out-tap the AI there. Not a problem. All right, yeah, that's formation. It's pretty generic T formation. And then uh, let's just run it down the middle. Yeah, as far as I can tell, those are all the same. Good. Not that it matters against the AI, but I also just want to sort of demonstrate uh, some of the decent playbooks in this game. So so start. So I remember um, having this game as a kid, and um, I was just obsessed with the stats. I just wanted to be the best in every category possible. So in the season game, after every game, 
all of your stats are recorded, offense and defense, like uh, passing, you know, yards, completions, uh, interceptions thrown, all that type of stuff, completion percentage and running, similar types of stuff for yardage, touchdowns. Um, so I would just obsess over that. I try my best to get the top in every category. So like if I had a really bad uh, defensive game where I gave like, you know, 100 yard rushes, like someone broke a tackle and they got way too far, I would just reset the game and do it over. Or I would go into, uh, if it was really bad, I would just go into coach mode and then I would just always just pick their play. It's just to make sure that I would always be first on defense for the least amount of yards. <laughs> so I used to always cheese the crap out of that. Um, you can also put in really bad players or really bad um, plays for them. And then it'll, it'll, if someone gets injured, then they'll change it back to the like regular players, but they'll always keep the bad playbook you put in until the start of the next season. So there's lots of funny things you can do to try to manipulate it to do better against the AI when you're really bad, like I was as a kid. I later learned more of the like uh, competitive parts of this game, just how to defend plays a lot better, which one of the best ways to do it is uh, in coach mode. You can just have two con um, with two controllers. You can do coach versus coach. All right, you got me at the sack. That's fine. Uh, so Bruce Smith might be just destroying my offensive line. I'm gonna try it again. All right, so he doesn't routinely do it. Good. So, anyways, um, you can do coach versus coach to help practice against some of the plays. Because what you want to be able to do is by looking at the play, you need to know who you need to pick on defense, and then. Um, I can't multitask very well. <laughs> I had to like think what I was gonna do on that play. Um, so anyways, on defense, when you see the formation of the play, like right here, he should the opponent should already know by looking at my playbook and what people usually pick. It's either gonna be the draw or the play action. So they want someone that can cover either. So you don't wanna like overcommit on offense, uh, well, you know, by being too offensive, because I might get a huge throw if they don't. Let's see if I can just out. Oh my god. Alright. I don't know if this guy's open. It's pretty risky. Oh, jump catch. Always take that. <laughs> it's one of the good things with the, the pass there. So anyways, they, they should be able to guess. It's going to be either the draw play going up or the pass, which is often go down to the very bottom there, or the top. Either way, with those, um, that's basically like pass defense type stuff. So what you would do is you would just sort of run circles around the center when you're on defense, say like no one's covered, right? So when you're off screen, the uh, person on the the quarterback cannot tell like which player is actually covered or not. This game doesn't give you like little windows to give you hints or anything like that. Um, so you can use that to your advantage when you're on defense against a friend or something like that. So they cannot really guess where you are when you're defending it. All right. So all I'm doing is picking pass plays right now because. Um, I, I feel like I can take care of the running plays without much issue. I'll try to discuss my thoughts more. Well, I already picked a, a pass play here, and uh, I picked one of the shotgun ones as well. So it's either going to be the draw, which is like a hike directly to um, Thurman Thomas, which is fine. I'll just take it, but I picked the play, so overdid the explanation there <laughs> but uh the idea was just trying to limit it to like what plays are they possibly doing and what do you need to do to be able to cover it um since you cannot like toggle your players you just do not want to overcommit. like do not do like an early slide tackle or anything like that uh that will screw you up if you do an early slide tackle and they just go free they can just zigzag their way to victory basically I mean, my guys are so slow with all well, the tight ends and stuff like that. It doesn't I can't really get too much yardage out of it, but uh, so there he had backups. That's the idea. You uh, engage in a uh, I don't know a brawl or whatever you want to call it in this game, a grapple, and they call my play. Oh no, the fumble! That was brutal. So yeah, you want to be able to just engage them in a uh, grapple instead of going for all the slide tackles. But this guy's just too fast for me right now. Usually there's a uh, slingshot mechanic where the defenders will always have more speed than the uh, person on offense to be able to catch up with them but sometimes the game like I don't know exactly why but it seems like it does sort of glitch out uh, I didn't really discuss it there <laughs> but um, 
you can help block field goals and extra points by picking that, uh, I'll call it the linebacker one position. It's the fourth person down, and you basically just run straight forward, and uh, then you go down into them. But you need a, you need to be pretty fast. Uh, you need a fast runner like uh, Lawrence Taylor, for instance, on the Giants. It's really fast. So that's your best chance of doing it. You can do a lot of pressure still. Um, some other general tips like there what I was doing was uh, I saw people open But I wanted to wait for the uh, defenders to commit more um, So then once I saw that they committed then I could knew knew like uh, who was actually open at that time. Oh My god their defense is so fast Usually I can just zigzag around these guys, but uh I'm really struggling to get by these Yeah, like there's just too many of them. They're just like surrounding me. That'll be enough for a first down. Oh yeah, it's almost the end of the quarter. I need to make more progress here. See, was that enough time? Yes. Oh man, Hector's fast. All right, let's see if I can do some of the zigzagging stuff. So you do, I do a mix of uh, straight up, just upright, up, down, and straight up, straight down. Just cause the AI is uh, a little bit overzealous with their slide tackling. And uh, you can take good advantage of that just by constantly just zigzagging around when you're um, free, basically. There's no one near you at the moment. If they're too close, you're probably just going to waste time, and it's probably better just to run straight forward and just hope to break their, uh, their grapple. Because if they're close, they're going to go for the uh, slide tack almost all the time. I probably should have seen the halftime thing just to go and get a look at my stats, but... I'm pretty sure I'm doing like pretty average, I would say. Something you can do to manipulate your yardage is whenever um, you're doing a, you get like a kickoff, instead of trying to run it out as far as possible, intentionally run it back as far as possible. Since it doesn't actually count against you, except for your kick return uh, yardage. But if you just want to maximize your offensive yardage, well, give yourself the most amount of yards to get, right? Because the AI is not particularly hard to be in this game until it gets to like the playoffs where they go into like super juiced mode basically. Oh, this guy's wide open if he can throw it. Alright, nice. There I didn't have much room. I saw the guy was closing in from uh, the north and that was just, uh, yeah. Did not really have any great way to be able to juke him out. That's going to be a loss of yards. That's fine. See if I can just go straight down the middle. There we go, nice. Just a few little zigzags there. Some Bo Jackson action. <laughs> I mean, Bo Jackson is in this game. In the NES version, there is Bo Jackson. And uh, yes, he is very, very, very broken. So I'm just slaughtering the builds here. I'm just gonna do an onside, well, I didn't time it right. I'm <laughs> just gonna do an onside kick, um, which is very, very, very high risk. And, uh, well, very high reward too, but it almost never works out. I would say like 95% of the time, they are gonna get the ball with a, you know, very, very good positioning, obviously. Um, but I don't really care because I'm pretty good at defense in this game. All right, so now I know it's gonna either be the uh, draw play. Um, let's see if I remember. Here, I'll go a little bit riskier. There we go. Try and remember which one you can go very aggressively and dive in, and uh, yeah, that is one of the ones. Linebacker two, you can go pretty much straight forward. Let me try it again. Ah, uh, so there. See now he does a huge breakaway, and it's probably gonna be a touchdown. <laughs> so it is a lot riskier doing what I just did. I got like knocked off by a, a, an offensive guard, but I wanted to showcase you can do it. This is a good way of showing though, like if you mess up, uh, you are in a world of hurt. The AI has their own little cheating in the game, basically. Like if you're in against an actual person, they would not be able to run that quickly. You would have a lot more of like a catch-up mechanic to uh, catch up with them. All right, so let me go and demonstrate what I was talking about earlier. So I'm just gonna run it back a little bit further. I'm not really concerned about score at this point. Just don't pick my play. All right, didn't pick it. I'm gonna take a quick look at my guys. 
All right, I guess I'll call timeout while I do this. Just want to see. He's still an excellent. Good, good. Okay, Hector is a little faster than McNeil. Unless Thomas, Thomas is back to average, but whatever. McNeil's in good, average, good. Yeah, these guys are fine. All right. Just wanted to make sure that they weren't like in bad condition. It is a good thing to check like every couple quarters or if you just notice they're generally being slow. And this is probably pretty risky. Oh, wow. That defender was just not in position at all. This should be a massive gain. Oh, there we go. Got a little more jukes in. Ah, got me. Too many of them closing in on me there. So yeah, I intentionally um, brought myself down further just so I can have more yardage to make here. Saw me like run back at the beginning of the uh, kickoff, the five yard line. This is just so I make sure I have, you know, 95 yards on offense when I make this uh, drive to the end. Because I almost always will be able to do it against the AI until the playoffs in the Super Bowl where you have to do a lot more uh, running with the quarterback is usually what I end up doing. <laughs> Because like it's almost everyone's always going to be covered pretty much in the playoffs in the Super Bowl in this game, so it gets a uh, much more difficult at that point. But before then, it's just like there's almost always someone open on uh, the pass play, and they don't do like the best on run defense either. Like a lot of like very aggressive slide tackles, which just is not a good idea. All right, try to go and defend these guys. So I just try to circle around the center because I saw that I had defense on the bottom already, so I didn't have to worry about that. Otherwise, you just have to um, hope they don't commit too hard to uh, throwing it deep and you try to go and stay a little bit closer. Oh, wow. Covered and caught it. <laughs> I wonder which one of my like linebackers is actually decent in this game. There probably isn't too many that are very good. It's going to be a pitch down. No. Nope. All right. So I'm much more worried about the pitch down, so I was already moving down towards where Thurman Thomas would go in uh, the pass one play. But, I mean the, the run one play, if you want to call it. It's like a fake handoff and then it throws it down. Like if it's just that, that's fine. It's only, it's almost always just going to be a couple yards. Alright, they're going to go for it again. Oh wow, I got a lucky fumble. Oh, let's try to go and get a little more yards on offense. <laughs> I guess I can also, uh, yeah, I can just take it back for uh, a bit of a sack here. Or I can just run out of bounds. Yeah, I'll just do that. Screw it. All right. Time to go shotgun. Uh, I got pressure, though. Got to throw it away. Uh, I didn't mean like throw it away, throw it away. Come on, QB, <laughs> make that pass. I'm trying to keep doing shotgun. All right, you're open. And also, um, the accuracy seems to be. Oh man, he got some on defense on time. Did not think they would. I don't really care if they score or not. Um, so if you throw it like cross, like diagonally, a lot of times the accuracy is pretty bad doing it. So I'm always a little worried of doing it that way. But hey, worked out there. All right, let's see. Can we go all the way? Yes. So that's the other thing when you're running like that, like uh, zigzagging, when they have to go and change position, uh, they lose all of their momentum, all their speed goes away. If you saw that, uh, they were running at me pretty quick, and then they had to change the angle they were going, and that was uh, the end of the momentum. So that's part of what you have to learn on defense when you're chasing people is not make those abrupt switches. A lot of times you end up like circling around them instead. So anyways, yeah, I'm just destroying them. Let's just go for an onside kick because YOLO, you know, way ahead. So this was when the Bills had just an all-star roster. They had uh, Jim Kelly, Thurman Thomas, uh, Andre Reid. Uh, and then on defense, they had like Bruce Smith, Cornelius Bennett. They just had so many good players, it was ridiculous. I'm uh, from upstate New York, so... Bills are very much loved here in this general area. And they uh, got pretty far this year, so good for them. I don't really care too much about them, but it's just sort of like, hey, they're from my area. 
I guess I should, like, pay a little bit of attention to them. Like, I was raised a Jets fan by my dad, so I just stayed a Jets fan all my life, that's all. Let's see how I did. Really? I only had 45 yards as my best runner? That's insane. I guess I did a lot more passing than I assumed I did. Most of my runs weren't... I guess it was also between the two runners. <laughs> and the Bills running was massively boosted by that one play I let get away from me. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about stuff I'm doing here. So let me see, like, what is another cool thing? So there's Pro Bowl mode. I'm just going to do it with the defaults. Uh, yeah, I'll go AFC, why not? So I'm just going to keep with all the defaults, the default players that are in it. So if you're familiar with the Pro Bowl, at the end of the year, people are voted in for who's the best in each position, and then it's split between the conferences, AFC and NFC. Um, so this one's going to have a lot more like all-star players. So you got Bo Jackson and Thurman Thomas here. What a weird playbook. Let's see if I can actually change it. Nope, cannot change the playbook. All right, whatever. Let's just give it to Bo Jackson and see what happens. Oh my god, he's so fast. <laughs> so ridiculous, look at him. <laughs> yeah, go Bo! <laughs> Even against all-star defenders, <laughs> it doesn't matter, he's just so fast, <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I didn't go all the way, but, <laughs> oh, good old Bo Jackson, man. If you haven't seen him in action, there you go, that's pretty typical Bo Jackson scenario stuff. Like, I just want to actually, like, take a quick look at, like, what are you, he's in bad condition, too. Bad condition was doing that shit, that was insane. 56. Excellent. Why is this guy in the Pro Bowl? Like, look at his stats. Like, running speed and maximum power and running power. 60, 31, 63, 50. Right? And bad. 31, 63, 69. And bad compared to excellent. So maximum speed is really, really, really important. I don't even know exactly what the other two do. Maybe accelerating and turning and stuff like that. Running speed, rushing power. Don't really know. Oh, by the way, hitting power is totally irrelevant, except when it's AI versus AI. All you do is whoever taps grapple, you know, taps A as quick as possible wins. That's all there is to it. It only matters when it's AI versus AI. So none of that other stuff matters at all. I'll just keep running it down here. Well, I'm gonna do a pass here. Just wanna see if I can, oh yeah, QB bills. So they had licensing, but they did not have all the players licensed for some weird reason. I don't really understand. So there's like QB Bills and I think QB Eagles instead of Randall Cunningham and Jim Kelly. And they don't even use the number. It's just number zero, QB Bills. It's really weird. All right, so I'll try to focus a little bit more on like what I'm actually doing in the game. So against Barry Sanders and Ernest Biner, he used to be a Redskins running back. So the uh, pitch play, um, the T formation one is pretty rough. All right, cornerback one, Rod Woodson, he used to be on the Steelers, he's really good. So I knew this was going to be either the draw or the play action. And, um, oh man, my guy like went overly pursued and went for the jump that was not going to work. Uh, Andre Ryzen, old Falcons player. So like, can't believe I, I still remember all of these players, mostly because of just how much I played these games. Derek Thomas of the Kansas City Chiefs. See, there you go. Linebacker one, all you do is run straight and dive down. Um, yeah, so I personally did fine in defending that uh, the play action play there, but <laughs> you can't control the AI with how they're gonna uh, defend. Went for the uh, Interception came down with absolutely nothing. All right, let's just give it to good old Bo Jackson again now. Something else you can do. So you see how I'm now towards the top half of the field instead of like the center or lower half. So that means you have more room if you're running down. So that's another reason I'm picking this play to run downwards. Is I have more room to uh, juke going down now. 
So that's something that like people can use against me is I'm definitely biased against that. So I have to randomize it a bit more when I'm playing against uh, people who are a bit more uh, conscientious of like, what could I be playing? This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Bo Jackson shit. <laughs> Yeah, so against the AI, obviously, just do whatever um, gives you the best chances of having the most yards or, you know, making the first downs and making points and all that stuff. So let's just do another onside kick and whatever happens, happens. Okay. This also limits the amount of possible yards you can lose on uh, defense if you care a lot about the stats, which, again, was my huge thing for this game. All right, so is it even the draw or the play action? This one's not great if I'm Rod Woodson, but Steve Atwater has a much better angle. It's just the way that the uh, the blockers line up there. A lot of the times if you pick the, uh, I'll call it cornerback one, and try to run down in there, you'll get blocked by a receiver. Um, and I just want to make sure I have a free shot at the running back. All right, so this one, they have a play that's just a total giveaway. So I know it's going to be a pass. Just a matter of who I want to... I'm going to go Bennett. See if I can pressure. Let's see, do I... I don't have enough people defending. So I like to go and see, like, at the beginning if I can run in. If I'm doing something like that. Um, Alright, so... And then, like, if you see that people are not being covered, then yes, you just drop back. Because it's so unlikely to get a sack against uh, a decent player. So anyways, I'm just buying time here. As long as you keep moving players around, the AI will never hike it. Um, so this is either going to be the um, the, the uh, play action with the, well not play action, fake draw and then sweep, or right down the middle, or a play action of it. In that case, I would like just a cornerback one, Rod Woodson, and I'll just go straight down. See how I like, by going straight down, um, I pretty much ignored the draw, like if it was going to happen, that's fine, I can easily move back for it. It's more the sweep that is really nasty, because a lot of times it's a big opening, and uh, if they have a lot of speed, they'll just run through all your defenders. If you get caught on, like, uh, getting blocked, you have to depend on your AI to not be an idiot with slide tackling, and uh, that's a pretty rough gamble. Alright, so, uh, had to quickly try to get to the receiver that was open there, the only receiver that was open. All right, so let's just go for a long pass. Let's see, is anyone gonna be open? No, they're gonna be covered. I'll just throw it down the middle then. Just go for the guaranteed one when I can't really see who's definitely covered out there. Ooh, was this Drew Hill, something like that? Houston Oilers dude? Yeah. I remember like uh, playing against my brother, we also learned some other cheap stuff you can do. You can pick the, uh, the nose tackle and just constantly spam the dive tackle button. And sometimes you can immediately sack them, as long as they're not in shotgun formation. Especially if they're trying to do like play action or something like that. I'll see if I can uh, emulate it. So if there's any time where they're um, within... Um, yeah, so this one they're close. Let's see if I can do it. Nah. So it didn't work out there. Thankfully uh, they got the block on Sanders. Well, they were able to attack him without problem. Alright, so play action. So I've just been picking the, um, what is tough for me, most difficult for me to cover at this moment is this uh, uh, T formation play action play. It's the pass one. Because again, if you pick pl uh, passing plays, your AI is more likely to cover the receivers. If you pick uh, running plays, you're less likely to have them cover. And if like there's four people open and I need to cover all four of them, it's really difficult to do. So. I almost always will just pick pass plays unless it's like obvious that they're going to go for it on a run. So in this case it's third and four, second quarter. I can stop most of these runs without much of a problem except for the sweep. Alright so this could go to Biner, uh, it's, like, it's like a curve up into the left play. And in that case I don't want Atwater, I mean I don't want my quarterback one basically, I do want the strong safety. I can get like one that's more towards the south, Fulcher or Lewis. I'll go Fulcher. Okay, they didn't even do it. All right, cool. Oh man, uh, this is a bad one for me to cover. Looks like they're going deep. Nope. Oh, I still got there in time, nice. <laughs> I was trying to go between both receivers and it barely worked out. I thought I was not gonna get back there in time. 
So that's some of the stuff you need to be able to do. Because um, it looked like my my cornerback was substantially slower than their uh, receiver, so that was making me a little worried. Good old Bo Jackson. <laughs> All right, I, I should have done some sort of juke there, but whatever. Just give it to Bo one more time here. Do some Barry Sanders type shit, like just run all the way up and like go behind the line of scrimmage and crap. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Still made positive yards out of it. <laughs> Alright, it's enough of Bo Jackson nonsense, but it's just funny to play with. Oh, uh, everyone wide open. So you don't want to wait. Um, that's another thing is uh, if you wait too long like all your receivers are all the way at the edge of the end zone For some reason the AI in this is just so much more likely to overthrow them even though they're just like standing there So a lot of times I like to th You need to be able to have a sense of like how deep they are when you throw the ball. You don't want them to be all the way in the end zone Wait they have Emmett Smith as a uh, kick returner. It does remind me, so the, the kick returner stats is locked to, oh, I can't even remember exactly which player it is. It's something like, uh, it's a lineman's like maximum speed and stats and stuff like that. It's not the actual kick returner itself. So that's why some teams like, their kick returner might not be someone that's super fast, but for some reason they're just like blazing. And uh, it's because they have a lineman that, for some reason, has very uh, high stats in those fields. You can also tell it's a run early on by the way that uh, the blocks are done. So there I could tell pretty early on it was going to be a, uh, a run. So again, just went all the way down from the top just to make sure that uh, I could cover the sweep since that's the most dangerous part of that play. I also like to call uh, pick the uh, the play action ones the most because if you pick the play action ones, they, it's like a guaranteed sack um, if it's a picked play. They can't do anything about it. They're stuck in the uh, you know faking the handoff basically. So I like to so I'm just constantly picking the uh, two play action ones. Can I do pressure here? Yeah, I have time to do pressure. Oh my god. <laughs> of course, Jerry Rice, yeah. Jerry Rice is pretty good in this game. <laughs> he can catch it with uh, multiple people covering him. Montana to Rice. Um, yeah, let's try this again. Yeah, it's to Biner. It's fine. Oh my god, I just ran him over. Don't know what the cause is that. Like, that's just instant. Um, it's another T formation one. Again, I'll just go straight down. It's the T. It's the right down the middle. That's fine. Easy enough. All right, possible Biner one. Let's go with Lewis this time. Oh man, Lewis is slow as hell. That's fine. It's all covered, they'll punt it. So once you start to memorize what the possible plays are, like I barely even looked at their playbook. Like I just sort of know, like looking at the possible plays that I just know what's gonna be. Like I have some terrible plays, like that pass one play, that is such a slow to develop play. I'll, I'll go ahead and call it. Well, but like look, like I don't have any control, still don't have control, now I have control. <laughs> and there's only three receivers from it. So it's definitely one of the poorest plays in the game. Yeah, just, eh, got some jukes in there, not enough. This one has enough receivers, although they are all towards the bottom. Uh, this is pretty risky. Oh, oh yeah, and you have a much higher percentage chance of catching it if it's a dive or a, uh, a jump catch. Well, jump catch is guaranteed 100% if you're, you know, your guy actually is there for it. You don't have any control over it, but I like to think that mashing the uh, A button constantly will actually make them do what you want them to do, but uh, pretty sure it does not have any effect on it whatsoever. There's a lot of little superstitions that uh, I've probably developed having this game for so long. <laughs> Some of them I know, it's just like, uh, well, although I don't have control over the dives or the jump catches, there's some quarterbacks that are more likely to lob the ball, and those cases you can just time it so you know that there's going to be a jump catch, and you can just use that just to go and uh, 
get some really, really, really cheap plays, because they just can't defend it. Like, they're just going to jump catch it every time. The best way to defend against someone doing that is playing, um, not playing as deep. So you basically want it so your cornerback ends up ahead of the receiver so they can possibly jump and bat it down or catch it themselves. But it's really hard to do when they're off screen. So the offensive player doesn't have to worry about it. They just throw it, the ball will just go there. But uh, on defense, you have to you have to know where it's going. Otherwise, you're just holding back and just hope that it gets there, right? Yeah, see how I'm like just shutting down the run game pretty consistently there? And now I'm under pressure on offense. There's enough receivers. Okay. That one was open, but it looked like I was going to have enough to uh, be able to go, go all the way in on the pressure. A lot of times I start moving in, I take a quick look at my coverage, and I decide if I need to back off or not. So it's a much more aggressive play style. It's much better against actual players. The AI will just, you know, automatically throw it to the best possible person and crap like that. Man, I'm just stomping over these guys. I just picked a random pass play. Uh, all right, so everything's covered pretty well here. Let's see. Okay, interception, we'll take it. Good job, Fulcher. I think it was David Fulcher. I think he was on the Steelers. Oh no, I need to throw it away. <laughs> that was going to be a safety otherwise, so I'm just begging for uh, that, that to just... I just didn't want that to be a safety. Incomplete pass is fine. Everyone's wide open apparently. Okay, cool. I actually don't know for sure if you have less accuracy thrown it diagonally, or if that's just like a bad superstition I have from seeing it happen a few times. And so I like to always try to line it up. Like I went all the way towards the top of the screen for that. So yeah, there we go. Touchdown! Andre Reed, QB Bills. There's multiple uh, quarterbacks who went from uh, after they retired, they went to open up their own like car sales, like car dealerships, like uh, Jim Kelly did, and I think John Elway did as well. There probably is more. Some of them just, you know, floundered their money away. They have so much money, but uh, they just, they, they, I guess they just didn't really know how to manage their money very well. Or at least, you know, these are the ones that I, I've, I've heard some, some bad stories where they, they end up losing all the money that they have. Like they, 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 when they were actively playing, they were able to support that lifestyle without much of a problem. But then moving on to like uh, regular like working class type life stuff is uh, a big adjustment. Um, so at this point the game's like just totally over anyways, so <laughs> I apologize. This is not going to be a terribly interesting one at, at this point. Um, but I'm just like, I, I can basically autopilot it from this point. I just know by looking at the formation what the possible plays are, and then which defender will not, uh, will likely have the most impact basically. Surprise I blocked that. Um, so. I just want one that's pretty fast and not likely to get blocked, basically, is all I really care about. Alright, so Andre Reed gets it. <laughs> Going fast. Alright, let's just troll with Bo Jackson again, why not? Ah, uh, I shouldn't have run that much into the middle there. There's too many people. Because I can, uh, <laughs> called the play, still got like five yards, doesn't matter. <laughs> Sometimes you can still go all the way, but they are like supercharged, so it's uh, very unlikely. But you can get like 10, 15 yards pretty consistently. If you like are just able to turn the outside corner. All right, so now I am was tackled down towards the bottom, so I'm just gonna pitch upwards. Let's see if I can just make it happen. There we go. All right. Just do some Bo Jackson nonsense here. See if I can run out more of the clock. Uh, I was trying to run back to see if I could circle around more. No luck. All right, let's see. 
Let me just run out the rest of the clock here. Oh, come on. Oh, still up, still up. Go bow, go bow. <laughs> All right, clock is out. Let's see if I can get a touchdown from this too then. <laughs> yep, should easily do it. <laughs> oh my God, Bo Jackson. <laughs> Now I have to do an extra point though, of course, but yes. I, that was just me being ridiculous with Bo Jackson because it's it's too funny not to do. Alright, let's see what my stats were at the end of this game. Got any questions about this game, let me know. 10 for 280 yards. Nice. Uh, I almost got 300 yards passing, but I just dedicated a little bit too much to Bo Jackson. In the Super Nintendo version, there's different milestones to hit. There's 100 yards rushing, 150 yards receiving, and 300 yards passing. So that was something I would always go for in the Super Nintendo version, at least. So anyways, I just wanted to uh, test out this cart. I got it for my birthday. Just wanted to make sure I was in good working condition, and I played the hell out of this as a kid, so I know quite a bit about it. I also played it competitively in an online league. Uh, feel free to ask me any more questions you have about this game. I'm very happy to help out with learning how to not suck at Tecmo Super Bowl and how to beat the crap out of your friends, which is always the fun part in this. Well, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you later. Bye.